What to do when it won't go away, that's what we're covering today. And this next problem, it affects up to one in five people. My name is Brenda, and I've had it ringing in my ears for about a year and a half now, and I've had no relief. My doctors tell me there's not much I can do, and it's so aggravating. Please, is there anything out there that will help me? Thank you, doctors. Really can be a debilitating problem. So let's give you an idea what many tinnitus sufferer, sufferers like Brenda are dealing with. I mean, it's, it's like a form of torture. And just it's like that, for it, can, it can change. It can be high pitch, low pitch. It can be whistling sounds. It can be a whooshing sound. You know, these are all different forms of, of tinnitus. And there's different causes of tinnitus, tinnitus. And many times, the exact cause can't be determined. But in general, what is happening physiologically, this is the, the middle and inner ears. You're seeing those fine little delicate hair cells that move in response to those sound waves. That happens in your inner ear. When there's a leak, you get random electrical impulses to the brain, and this results at some times in loss of hearing, other times in that ringing in your inner ear. And you know, the top causes of tinnitus ringing in your ear are exposure to loud sounds causing damage to the inner ear, normal changes related to age, even simple things like earwax blockage can cause it, ear bone changes from stiffening of the inner bones in the middle ear, so-called otosclerosis, and then an entity called Meniere's disease, which is a triad, is a combination of three things, hearing loss, ringing in your ears, and vertigo. And sometimes medications can cause it anti-inflammatories, antibiotics, even an antidepressant. And again, when you read the label of side effects of medications, a lot of times tinnitus will be one of them. And it certainly doesn't strike everyone, and, but it can. And something that uh, you didn't mention, actually some of the erectile dysfunction drugs, which are being used more and more, can have the effect not only of some hearing loss, but ringing in the ears as well.